Hey guys, Eric Dragon Highlander here, back again with another card of the week. And uh, happy Friday, thank you guys for joining me. Always glad to have you folks here. And just before we get started on this week's card of the week, just like every week, I'm gonna remind you to go down to the description down below, check out the link that I've got for 5% off everything in store at enterthebattlefield.ca. And also check out the link down there to the Discord server that I run, EDH Toronto. We've got a great crew of people over there. Awesome, awesome people that love to talk about cards, love to talk about spoilers, love to talk about deck building and rulings and all kinds of stuff. We play games. You can be featured in gameplay videos on this channel. Um, speaking of which, I also do gameplay videos here, so go check some of those out. And I do lots and lots of deck techs here as well. Please peruse some of the other videos I've got. There's tons and tons of content on the channel. I love talking about magic. Um, but while we're here, thank you for joining me. It's time to talk about the card of the week, and this week's card is going to be Smoke. This is one of my favorite old school cards. I've been playing this card for almost 30 years. I love this stupid card. It does not make any sense for the color that it is in. I love it that it is such a great, weirdly out of color pie piece. It feels so good to play this card because nobody knows it. Nobody's ever heard of this stupid card. Smoke is a two mana red enchantment that says each player cannot untap more than one creature during their untap step. That's it. It feels like it should be a white card. Uh, it's a prison piece. It's a lock piece. It feels white or maybe even blue um, sort of in the stasis-y kind of vibe. Um, I just love that Smoke is just... Yeah, it's just this little wizard on top of a hill blasting a bunch of smoke into the air and saying you guys can't untap because you can't see what you're doing. It's amazing. I love that it just, it's in red. Um, and there are so many cool commanders that this card does tons of work with. Um, I mean, basically any commander where you want to not be getting attacked while you're doing big dumb stuff with your commander. Stuff like uh, Heartless Hidetsugu where you just want to be tapping him all the time, uh, and you don't really need any other creatures to be attacking because Heartless Hidetsugu is doing all of the work for you by cutting all of your opponent's life totals in half. Um, any big dumb Voltron mono red commander like Atali, you don't need to be attacking with anything besides Atali, right? Like Atali just does all the work in that deck. Um, but if you can be attacking with Atali and also stopping your opponents from cracking back at you with something dumb like smoke, it just, it works beautifully um it's brilliant in stuff like uh, like a voltron deck like rograk rograk and any other partner right like you really only want to be cracking in with rograk um it just it does a tons of work with rograk um there are sort of mono red shenanigan decks like norin the wary where you don't actually want to be involved in combat you just want norin to be bouncing in and out and doing his weird shenanigan tricks where he's attaching equipments and dealing damage to things with like impact tremors and with uh, uh, what's the other one? Warstorm Surge. Um, you know, Nor and the Wary decks definitely want to run something like Smoke. Um, there's Jeskai prison decks, right? Like you've got uh, like Zedru the, that wants to be, you know, bad gifts, giving these away and kind of like locking people out. Um, smoke is a really, really nice piece that, you know, you can give away with Zedru and it still does the same job as it was doing under your control because it just says no player. Um, it doesn't matter who controls smoke. Smoke just does the smoke thing. So it works perfectly for a card like Zedru. Um, it works beautifully in Pramicon, as I said, like prison decks or like weird combat decks. Um, like Pramicon wants to be messing around with combat and making people not attack you. Um, so it works beautifully for something like Pramicon. Um, any kind of, I mean, Boros is very well known for Voltron, right? So anything like Akiri Line Slinger or any um, Bruce Tarl or, or any kind of boros -y Voltron deck, um, Smoke is just great because you just want to be attacking with one creature. Um, it works great with something like um, Brian Stoutarm that just wants to be tapping to sacrifice a creature and you want to untap him, but you don't care about the other creatures untapping because you're just throwing them at your opponent's faces anyways. Um, there's commanders like Feather the Redeemed, right? Where, like, 
you don't need to worry about any of your other creatures. You just want to be swinging in with Feather, um, and you know you want to be winning that way. Um, so Smoke is brilliant in something like that. It works great with like Kaikar, where the spirit tokens that it's making, you know, you keep them as blockers, and then you only really need to attack with them once. Um, you know, and Kaikar is the only thing that you really want to be attacking with, and then untapping on your untap step. So it's just smoke is so underrated. It's only worth like three dollars. It's in less than one percent of EDH decks on EDHrec.com. It's a two mana enchantment that fits in so many, so many, so many powerful decks that already want to see effects like this. It's in almost no decks on EDH Rec, and it's not very expensive, and it is a very, very powerful card. Um, if you combine this with white as well, um, it goes beautifully with stuff like Thalia or um, Authority of the Consoles or anything that brings creatures that your opponents control into play tapped. Um, anything like that, right? Like where stuff enters the battlefield tapped. Well, Smoke just keeps it locked down for good. Um, it serves the same purpose as like a Marble Golem or a, a Meek Stone in that it just locks them down. Only those are restricted to power three and greater. Uh, Smoke just says only one creature. Uh, it's just, it's such a cool, cool card. I, I love it. It does not see enough play. I really, really, really love this card. So it definitely, definitely gets featured for card of the week. Smoke is a powerhouse. Guys, you got to be playing Smoke. This card friggin' rules. Anyways, guys, thank you for being here. Love you all. Always happy to see you. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Smoke. Let me know if you have any suggestions for cards of the week. Um, always looking for more ideas for what you guys want to see, what you guys think are the underplayed cards that you want to see represented, um, or, or maybe given a little bit of a spotlight. Um, check out the promo code down below. Check out the link to the Discord. Check out some of the other videos I've got on the channel. I put a ton of work into this channel. There's always lots and lots and lots of content coming out. Please check it out. Um, thank you guys for being here, and until next week, be safe, have fun, and we'll catch you in the next one.